Good afternoon guys, we have left Blacktail Ranch. We have driven to East Glacier Park Village where we're waiting for some guy who's gonna take us to see a herd of bison, which is gonna be pretty awesome. We are just eating some pie, drinking some coffee, and um, yeah, it's been a fun morning so far. It's been a nice little drive. I've finally woken up. I did not sleep much last night. Like literally like an hour and a half. I think this is the guy we're meeting. Howdy. How you doing? Right, we're following Sheldon. Sheldon, take us to the bison. Oh, he probably can't hear bison. me. This baby can do anything. We're going off-road. This is definitely not as bad as the other No, we already... Ca Carrie, what do you think? What's, do you think we're good? Yeah, yeah squirrel! I said squirrel. this baby can do anything. Squirrel. <laughs> squirrel! And he's just screaming about squirrels. <laughs> Guys, we have found the bison. Well, Sheldon's found the bison for us. They're awesome. They look like the henchest, henchest cows ever. Yeah. What did you say? They look like they've been like just working out their upper body. Yeah, you know those guys that like, those are the skip leg day. <laughs> they only work out their arms. Are we jumping out? Yeah. Cool. Oh. Hey. Louie. Louie. Hey. Raya. Raya. Hey. So what's your job here? I just come out here every day and take care of them. Make sure, like them two, I have to get them in after we get done. So I make sure they're in their field all the time um, because uh, sometimes your ranchers kind of get mad if they get out of the, their, their pasture here. So the whole, all the way around here is six foot fence. Okay. And who owns them? The Blackfeet tribe. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I, I work. I got hired by them to take care of them, and this is a pretty good job. You know, I enjoy it. Some yeah. days it's hard. Some days it's just lay back. You know. So, um, in our language, we call them ini. -E. Ini. -E. Yeah, that's how you say. It. Yeah. What's your language? Black Blackfoot. Blackfoot. Yeah. That's the name of the language. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Guys, check this out. I got this a whole is... bunch of that. I'm trying to make a sweater like this out of it. <laughs> oh. That's so cool. Whoa. Yeah. So they just like shed their wool? Yeah, they're, they're shedding it right now. I think they're happy. Hi, Alan. This guy's called Alan. See, this is kind of crazy because they don't really allow cows to come this close. Wow, it's milking. Hey! Is that rare to see? Yeah, because a lot of times they'll, they'll stay back. No, they will keep the cows way back. Oh, they must know we're friendly. <laughs> yeah. They are so close. Literally, they're right here. If they start charging, I'm just going to run behind the wonder bug. <laughs> I don't think that's going to help. They're just going to start rolling. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we went to trainings, the worst thing you can do is jump in the back of a vehicle or a pickup. Because they'll jump back in. They'll jump, they'll in, jump in there. Well, we, we was told to go on. So if they start charging, we should get underneath. Should we do a little rehearsal? <laughs> like a fire drill. Yeah, let me do a little fire drill. But a drill. buffalo drill. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, right. now they're watching. And we're safe. Oh, oh, careful. Careful. safe. But now you're showing them your tricks. What are you doing? Now they know what you guys are going to do. <laughs> is, that the, is that Alan? Guys, they've got us surrounded. They're like coming out this side. I'm about to drone so these bison, but we think they might run. They'll and drink. I'm just hoping they run that way. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. 
Describe the spiritual significance of bison. Is it is it particularly this animal? Is it all animals have well, different? We do pray a lot to the to the buffalo because it's, it's it's in a lot of our stories. Yeah. Um, we do pray to other animals, you know. Like bears? We, we pray to bears, we pray to horses, elk. Are there any Native Americans still living super traditionally or? You know, we live in houses, you yeah. know. Um, but there's a lot of people that, like our life, we have to pray every day in the yeah. morning and evening. Um, when we do our ceremonies, or if we hear a ceremony going on, we have to go yeah. to support them. That's cool. It's a, it's a, it's a good life, you know. It, it's, you know, it really slowed my life down, but it made me um, straighten up and see more. Mm. And the main thing which you always in the herd is the bull is not the leader. He yeah. Makes the babies. The cow is always the one that leads. Yeah, the females lead. The, yeah, the females lead. Is it the same in Native American culture? The women, the leaders. If there's one thing that you would love the world to learn from Native American culture, what would you love to share with people? Things that you found or you know, the way of living? The respect. You'd rather have the respect. Yeah. In this world nowadays, there's no respect. Everything, everybody wants to do this fast life all the time. So we have just arrived at our accommodation for the next couple of days. This is Glacier Under Canvas. It's basically like this big camping ground. <laughs> and we found a friendly cat. Yeah, hey buddy. How <laughs> good. That is sweet. It's like a scarf, it's like a neck warmer. It actually is so warm. So we're gonna get set up here, we're bringing our bags in. And then, got an exciting, plan for this evening. We are heading over to Andy's hotel. Andy who we bought this bad boy off. And we're gonna go have dinner with him. Right, we're checking out our accommodation. Yes, little wood burner. That is what I'm talking about. So this is what your other one will look like as well. So you're seeing the same thing. Right, let's go and see Andy. Yay! Yeah! Yay! Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Andy's a legend. I saw you drive by a 50 mile hour. I was like, hurry! This is my wife, Beth. Gary. Hi. Hi, welcome. Hey. Oh, hello, Beth. Welcome. How's it working? Sam! You guys are awesome! This is Andy's grandson, Carter, and it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Carter. Happy birthday. Give a smile. Smile. Yeah. Oh, you get a second wish. Oh, yeah. Peace sign for you two. <laughs> so we've just had the most delicious dinner. Uh, great conversations. And now Carter is taking us on a little tour of the property. So this was all um, abandoned and you re renovated it? Yeah, totally abandoned. Uh, let's go up and see Andy Town why it's still light. Oh, wow. Uh, oh. This is amazing. This is sick. This is basically what our tree house needs to be like. Hi guys, I'm just gonna live oh, here forever. Can you the porch? I'm just gonna live here. You can. <laughs> and that's fine. Andy's fine with it. I don't care. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fireplace. <laughs> well, Andy kindly let us stay in his hotel to do some work. It's now almost 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. Successful laptop club time. Sam and Carrie are both gone. So. We should probably head back to the tents. We are back in our lovely tent. 
but it's very cold. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try and light this fire. Okay. Is it lighting? Uh... <laughs> Wait, no. it's not ready. It might be. Just Don't put your hand in there. Oh my God. Sweet! Yay! So the wood burning stove is on. The tent is very slowly heating up, but we're gonna snuggle in the covers and I will catch you guys tomorrow for some adventures. I think we're going out on a canoe and we're gonna adventure into national the National Park, Glacier National Park. Right, see you in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life and live the adventure. Boom.